Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm at the OC. I just finished the swim and I broke my all-time best record swim for two hours. It was 274 laps. My previous best time was 246. So 274 is, is pretty good. I had actually uh, split a lap a lane with another fella and he swims pretty fast he goes all out for about 50 minutes and so that kind of pushed me that first hour and I didn't check up I just kept a, a good steady pace and I kind of kicked it in that last 15 minutes and I'm not boasting or not bragging I just want to encourage people that at any situation in your life, any time in your life, no matter where you think you are as far as being physically fit, you can start from where you are. You can start from where you are, do a little, and add something to it. Talk to your body. Talk to your atoms, your DNA. Actually, speak life to your cells. I do it on a daily basis. I do it a few times a day, I should say. I just, just when I feel like it, I just talk to my body. And I listen to my body. Sometimes my body tells me to rest, and I rest. Sometimes my body tells me, don't try to go my all out fastest. And so I listen, and I go whatever pace that my body tells me I feel good at. Now, I'm going to mention this about quantum jumping. I've been practicing quantum jumping for quite a while. Now, there is another buddy in a multi-universal reality. This buddy started swimming at a very young age, and he never checked up. He became a professional swimmer. Um, actually, probably even from what I've, I've seen when I've jumped over to that reality is he's an Olympic swimmer and gold medals at that. Now that's not in this reality, but there's another reality, alternate reality where Buddy Huggins exists and is a gold medal swimmer. So when I go over there to that reality, he talks to me and he gives me tips and, and tells me how my body should feel when I'm gliding through the water. And I can't explain it exactly, except it's telepathic communicating, it's verbal communicating. I'm literally having a conversation with that part of my multiverse self. And then I bring it into this reality, I meditate on it, and I literally intend to dream of swimming and filling my body every stroke, every catch, every grab, every kick, left foot, right foot, and it is working. It is really kicking in. Now, of course, practice helps. I've been been swimming for a very long time, but this is my best year ever. Overall distance, overall time, I've never swam this hard, this fast, this long, for this many months getting ready for the bike ride. I always do it a little bit as much as I feel like in the past to, you know, set me up for when spring gets here and then I start riding the bike outside. But um, I hope some of you understand that whatever your talent is, there's a part of you in another reality that took that talent to the furthest, to the umph degree. And if you believe that and you quantum jump over there, you'll bring back some information that will astound you in whatever talent you have, whatever ability. And um, let me see. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say this about flat earth. I'm not a flat earther and I'm not a baller. I don't care if it's a globe. I don't care if it's flat earth. It doesn't matter to me. As a matter of fact, I even said this in a, in a little uh, comment. I'm not a body. I'm not a physical body. I'm not buddy. I don't have the story 
that Buddy has. Sure, I'm in time, and I'm in this physical form as Buddy, but that ultimately is not who I am. So by saying that, that means I'm not attached to anything in this world, whether the world is flat or it's round. As a surveyor growing up, ever since I was a teenager, I surveyed. I actually remember in some of the long distance surveying for roads and certain things that had to do with um, runways. I built some runways. I, I built a lot of things, but for the long ones, they actually factored in for the curvature of the earth. It was a mathematical equation when you set in blue tops elevations and they actually factor in for the curvature of the earth. Now I can't take that out of my thinking and so that's there. But I will tell you this, there's a lot of information that shows that the earth is flat. But there's a lot of information that shows the earth's round. What does it all mean? What it means is, is that we're wakening up. We're wakening up to the essence of what we are, what we're made of. We're made of unseen things, atoms. Atoms are not round, and atoms are not what we've ever been told. It's totally different. So when you wake up, you can look at anything. You can hear the good part of it, the bad part of it, and the indifferent part, and you won't be attached to the outcome. Now, most people, they, there are certain things that they can't look into that has to do with breaking the spell of the matrix illusion. Uh, the Buddha called it Myra, and you can get caught up in life so deeply that you forget who you are. We all forgot who we were when we came into this reality as a baby but things are changing changing really fast i can't go into all of the details about where we're headed as a as a collective consciousness but the world will change when we change and it's as simple as when we want to change something about ourselves the only thing that we can change is the way we think so the correct thinking, right mind thinking, and love. Put love in the equation and forgive. Forgive everything about this world. Nothing in this world makes any sense. This world will take all the life and love out of a person and have that person basically screaming in their mind, what in the hell is going on? But when a mind awakens and it realizes that we're, we're from source, we're of source, there's no need to try to solve every mystery in this world. We just need to know that we can look at all of the mysteries and not be overwhelmed. We can be led by the higher spirit, or your higher self. You can feel and sense with your heart what to really look at to get a bearing on what's really going on in this universe, this world. This inner world will speak to you. So that brings me back to quantum jumping. If you never tried it, look it up. I have links on my sites about quantum jumping. But um, there's a great man that did a lot of good work on this, and I can't think of his name right this second, but don't be afraid to look at anything and study anything. But when it doesn't register with you, ask your higher self, ask your heart, what does it mean for you? It may mean that you're supposed to put it down, but I guarantee you, if it was really something you're supposed to know, it will come back to you. And you will actually understand it to the fullness. Okay. That's all I got to say for now. Thank you. I'm not boasting. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you. We can do great things with this physical body. I love all of you. I know you, you're watching this channel and you, you see things I post. But um, I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. It's all about 
knowing who we are in the I am, in the actual Christ consciousness of what we are. Thank you.